How's it going everyone? This is Tricks from Meta Smash, and I want to quickly let you guys know that I'm going to be hosting a Nail the Trick Combo Mastery Seminar. There's going to be over an hour of Nail the Trick content, so if you're interested, there'll be a link in the description. And with that being said, let's get into the video. We're also going to talk about other shield options too, okay? If I'm just hitting your yeah. shield, my, my tilts are not safe on shield. My aerials are super safe, but my tilts are not. Right. So if I hit you with like a down tilt, forward tilt, or up tilt, something like that, you could be going for up beyond a shield like every single time. If not, just an air. I don't know how, but like, I, I notice that every time, but just my brain does something else. And I don't, it's hard to kind of fix. Were you in the conditioning mastery class? I was, yeah. Okay. So we talked a little bit about the reaction time stuff at the beginning. And yeah. with that, <clears throat> same thing has to be applied in real time. So if, if you're trying to, let's say, punish one of my tilts, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about which tilt I'm doing if you know all of them are unsafe. Okay. Right. So if I'm jumping in and you know that I'm about to land on your shield with, like, let's say, an aerial, if I land on your shield uh -huh. with an aerial, as long as I don't immediately shield or immediately run, literally anything else that I do, you can punish immediately. Or I guess if I spot dodge. But if I were to go like this, and then like forward tilt, or this to down tilt, or this to up tilt, or this into jab, if I go like this, maybe sh during the jab, you shouldn't drop shield, but after the jab, you can up B. It's all, all punishable, okay? Do I wait until the second move? Like you said, I feel the tilt and then you do something else? Yeah, so my Nair, I'm pretty sure Nair's minus two. I think fair is minus, I wanna say minus four, or minus three. I think it's minus three, and then back here is minus four, I think. It's like two, three, and four. They're all all incredibly safe. I'm never right. going to go like this on your shield, which doesn't make any sense to do. But if I did that, I think it's like minus 10 for some reason, or minus 11. <clears throat> and then this okay. is like minus 16 or something. So I'm not going to up air, <clears throat> and I'm not going to down air on your shield. But any other tilt, or sorry, any other aerial, I'm going to immediately either throw out another tilt to try and put on pressure, and catch you for dropping shield early, or I'm going to run. Okay. Or if I see that I hit your shield and I go like this on your shield and you happen to do nothing, next time I'll go like an aerial into a grab. Okay, I'll go like this into a grab. So if I, if I know you're going to stay in shield and I get that grab, that's a grab I should not technically be getting because you could be punishing me. Okay? Wait, so after I see the hit come out, do I drop shield right away and then try to up B or do I wait until the second hit? So like you said you could grab, so do I just have to get? So a couple of things have to happen there. You don't want to necessarily wait for me to do something. You have to anticipate that it's going, going to happen. Okay. So there's going to be some indicators that happen yeah. early during uh, my jump in. So if I jump towards you like this, then there's a very strong chance I'm going to land right on your shield and I'm going to throw something out. If I jump in like right. this, like very, very slightly, I'm trying to space something in front of you. Right. And uh -huh. if I jump away from you, then obviously I'm jumping away from you. So way right. before I even get to you, you can actually tell if I'm going to try and hit you. What I mean by that is if I jump okay. like this, right? So if I have like an arc towards yeah. you, you don't have to react to the attack coming out or the attack hitting your shield or the fact that I'm going to, let's say, throw out a down tilt or forward tilt or whatever afterwards. You can try to, but you realistically, as far as reacting goes, it's much too fast to try and react to you. So react to it more to so the fact that if I happen to jump in, and you've dashed in and shielded underneath where I'm going to land, there's nothing I can really do to stop you from being right beside me, right? Okay. I, I've committed to jumping, you've dashed in and shielded, and if I start going, like, let's say, this into grab, then if that situation mm -hmm. starts to happen, then sure, you can, instead of dashing up and going for shield, you could try and space a forward tilt in front of me to catch me first, or you could be, right. let's say, sh or spot dodging my grab, or before I even actually touch the ground, so before I even hit you, if I'm in the air and you see an attack coming out, so let's say if I'm going like this, before I even touch the yeah. ground, you could up B. Right. Okay. Okay. So I wanted to touch on another, another thing that you just said too, is dropping shield and then up being, which you don't have to do in this game. So to up B out of shield, if you press up on the control stick and then press B, nothing happens, right? Yeah. To actually up B out of shield, you have to press, or you could be holding shield, but you have to press up and B at the same time like it's a smash attack. Oh, okay. okay. And if you do it like that, it'll work. So when we're huh. playing fast, you don't realize that you do that. And that's, it's, it's almost a better or a good thing to real or to not have to worry about doing like a tilt up B or a smash up B, if that makes sense. You can just play normal right. and it feels like, okay, I'm playing fast. Therefore I just do it. But if you ever notice, like let's say 
sometimes online this happens where someone will run up to you and do something and they'll go like this and then you'll try and like let's say uh do like an up throw or like they'll try and go for like a, an up b and you'll just stand there and you'll just tilt up because the b button input or the grab button input or the a button input or whatever you're trying to do gets eaten by lag and it's like okay well nothing happened so this is just an annoyance or very unfortunate i should say because right. it can cost you sometimes too so i can say that if it's not working for you consistently the first part they have to worry about or fix is if we're doing the tilt up b or the smash up b if you are doing a smash up b and it's still not working then it's because of online okay. Okay, so if you're trying to like smash up B and you just get uh -huh. like nothing, then that's that's why. <clears throat> as far as knowing when to throw out your up B, I can say against a character like Sheik, it can be a lot more difficult to actually go for your up B because if I do some perfect spacing, or if I jump towards you and do something weird like shore hop air dodge, which is not not yeah. something I should do, but if it's something I can do to like prank you into going for your up B and it works, then sure I'll do that. Okay. Right. I'm not going to say that I want to, but yeah, it turns into a conditioning game or like a layering game to say, okay, if he's going to jump towards me in air dodge, I don't have to up B. So you can go for the more passive route, which would be to nair out of shield. So if you're wrong, let's say I don't air dodge, but if you happen to go for an, a nair out of shield, <clears throat> you'll, you'll either catch me or if I do happen to air dodge and you go for an air out of shield, at least you're not in free fall and you're not going to get punished super hard. Right. Okay. So... Like, if I see you jumping towards me, I can probably assume that you're going to do a, uh, like a, was it a falling aerial? Yeah. So can I just kind of, is it, is like, will I be able to react fast enough and do a rising aerial to kind of stop that? So I can say that if you're trying to catch me with a rising aerial, you don't want to try and catch me at the top of my jump and say, oh, okay, so he hasn't done a rising aerial yet. Therefore, I can just jump at him and go for something. Because, yeah. like, you could, but the reaction time that you need to do that, especially online or even offline, is borderline impossible to actually have. So what you'd want to do is react to the distance that I am away from you and anticipate that at this range, I'm probably going to jump like that. Right. Right. So if I'm okay. at this range, so this is basically burst range, if I'm going to try and hit you, I'm not going to jump from here, because obviously that doesn't reach. Right? I'm going to jump right. from a distance that makes sense. Especially if I know the strengths of my character, if I'm comfortable with my range or my speed or my takeoff speed from my jump or my drift, I'm going to, let's say, jump in from right here, okay? If I jump in like this, then yes, you can anticipate that, like, like one full circle away from you, like as far as if you're looking at the stage itself, right? Right. One full circle away is basically burst range. Okay. So if you think someone's going to do something like, let's say, landing aerial, uh, what you want to try and do is meet in the middle. Okay, right. so you throw a, a rising aerial and try and swing and put your sword over the like the halfway point of the stage. So when I jump in, I get hit. Okay. Yeah. That's what you want to try and do. And I'll, sorry. Although That's speaking fine. of uh, rising aerial, half the time I try to do a rising forward aerial, it just does a n neutral air. I don't know why. Like. So the reason that why that happens, more often than not. It's partially because of, in, or not input delay, but because of lag online, it can, it can eat inputs. But if you're doing it with a C stick, what will happen yeah. is if you are, if you go for a rising fair and then you want to do another rising fair and you buffer it right there, I just did it. And my second, second input is always going to be in there, right? So the reason yeah. why that happens is because of terrible design on Smash's part. So in order to have that not happen is you have to just try and time it. Okay, so okay. if you try and buffer your nair way too early, then it won't happen. If you do, like let's say for example, if I was to go for a uh, fair and then buffer my nair during the fair before I even touch the ground, immediately I get that nair. But okay. if I just wait and time it, I can get it fair every single time. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's just like that's a buffer system thing as well, just to know about that. Yeah. 